Hi, welcome to the small shed. This week I'm going to try and finish off the test fit on the bus bunk. See you in a minute. Now I usually like to try and shake things up every week and get something slightly different but I'm afraid on this occasion I've got to get the bus bunk test fit sorted out and finished so let's get on the front end of it and see if we can't get that resolved same as we did on the back getting all the bits to fit and tidying it up and then we can hopefully get it ready for paint and we can see this thing out of the way so let's go and have a look in the conservatory and see what's going on Right, so we're in the final knockings of the um, fixing the front together now and these are the bits that I can't really just guess where fixings would be and pre-drill them and everything so we've got to do one actually live in, in the timber in the right place or in the MDF um, rather than draw it all out on the bench. I've got to join a piece that is the lower front section which goes up to there comes in on the side there so effectively we've got a piece of 18mm MDF coming in there need to drill a hole obviously in the middle of that just mark that up <coughs> we'll just put one connector in it's about just over 60mm so if I go up 35mm that will probably be the best and I start with a pilot drill, which is about a three millimeter drill. And just run that in at right angles. And that will give me the position on the inside piece as well. Now, if you're just, the reason I've drilled a small hole first is that I want to sink the head of the bolts effectively we've got a barrel bolt there the head will be there the barrel will be inside on the other piece but I want to sink that head in because I've got a cladding piece on top of it so that's the only reason if you're just fixing with something with a normal head size you can just go straight for a six and a half mil drill but I've got a small um, forcing a bit that I want to just put a hole very slightly bigger than or about the same size as that head and we'll put that in next and that should just give us a small depression Okay, so that should take the whole, the head of the bolt, clean that out and then we go for the bigger hole which is a six and a half mil. I've marked it with a black felt tip roughly how deep I want to go. that and then the only thing I really should do with doing is just mark that centre of that hole onto that front panel and you'll see why when we get there just clean the holes up with a bit of 120 have a net but uh, most of that cleaning up will be done when we come to get the uh, painting and finishing done so now it's time to deal with the inside of the piece that we were working with that's got the hole that's come through the outer piece and gone in that way like that. I've projected the line that I put on the front all the way around the back and depending on the length of your bolt will depend on where you put your actual barrel nut. Um, I'm putting mine in at 35mm 
because I think I've got about a 60 or a 70 mil bolt which by the time it's got 18 mil sticking out there that should give me about the right sort of length for it to be going into the nut but not too far so all we need to do then having marked that 35 mil is get a 10 mil force and a bit or thereabouts probably the best and start to drill and you'll feel it go bump as you go through the actual six mil six and a half mil hole that you've drilled through the middle and at that point you start to slow up a bit if not stop there you go that was just felt it suddenly drop down because it's become so much easier because there's a large void there where the screw thread is coming through so we'll just go a little bit deeper not too much clean it all out it and then you can just get your barrel nut that should drop in with the little screw head sticking out that should just sink in below the surface probably still slightly high at the moment could probably just be going and we haven't come through the other side so there's plenty of room within that barrel nut to fit within the length of an 18 mil the width of an 18 mil MDF without it coming out the other side you see and what I'll tend to do then is to just rerun this drill through that hole because at the moment it probably isn't quite in the center it's not always easy to see but it just makes it a little bit easier if you to when you come to put the barrel nut in just working it up and down a little bit to make that hole slightly less of a problem and you can just check it there by popping the nut in and there and get a bolt starts to screw in okay so that's the sort of you've got 18 mil of MDF and you've got about that much then fixing to screw in so it should be a fairly solid fixing and that's really all there is to it fairly straightforward just got to do another two four six on this one and we've got the panel in It's a really solid fixing now that isn't going anywhere. So that's it. The very last piece of MDF I've got to cut on this bus, I think, is the piece I'm putting on the back there that will give me something to screw through from the inside and locate this back panel and save me having to fix up from underneath when it's actually uh, assembled because it's very difficult to get in and drill and screw upwards overhang on that side because there's another panel got to come out and on the side of the bus so that should be about right so i never thought i'd see the day that, that would be the uh, be done any remaining bits such as the number plates and that i'm going to do out of clear perspex i've decided because you get a better finish on that but that's the last mdf I've said that several times already but I think because I've just done the test fit and I now know that's the last issue to resolve we've got there I'm just going to round that corner off round the step when it's all done but I'll do that when I strip it down finally right so that's got the front end pretty much resolved now all the detailing is pretty much there I've just got to do a little uh, surround for the front number plate but other than that I've put a piece of 
six million on the front there. I've got this a bit more rigid by connecting it back to a box section that connects through to the cross member that goes there because I was a bit worried that the front end would be a bit inclined to get damaged but I've got some fixings in there for it now to hold it all together. All of the supports are in for the bed slats everywhere. The thing is solid as a rock and it weighs several tons um, but it's pretty much there. The detailing bits like wheels and that I'll sort when I get them painted but that's pretty much it now. Let's see if I can move it. Trouble, get it away from the radiator. Yeah. So the two of us should be able to manage it quite happily, I think. That's it. Good. So it's been well worth it to just sort out the odd items of snagging and inconsistencies. So, uh, a few things I've still got to do but it is pretty much there now as a structure. So all we're going to do now is take it all to pieces, sand it, fill it and paint it. But that's the result of well eight weeks work really in terms of actual working time probably 200 hours gone into it um, so quite happy with that so after chopping up nine sheets of MDF this is all that's left so I don't think the wastage has been too bad overall right so there we are we've got now a uh, structure which I'm quite pleased with really, it seems to have worked quite well. It's solid as a rock, it's not quite as heavy as I thought it might be. Uh, when you weigh, think about nine sheets of MDF, 18mm thick, I think they're about 30-35 kilos a sheet. I was beginning to think this might be something that's a problem, but by the time we've taken out all the openings, the windows and cut things down, we haven't got a lot of waste left but at least we have got some weight reduction there and it, it does look as if it can be picked up at each end by one person so hopefully my son-in-law and I can get it actually into position once it's assembled. So next week uh, we'll try and do something different uh, and then we can move on and get this thing into paint while we're uh, thinking about what we're going to do with it for detailing and things like that. Hope it was of interest. Look forward to seeing you next week and we'll see you then. Bye.